guys, welcome to Iconic TV. Today we have a very awesome uh, video review. We're looking at the Cooler Master Quick Fire Pro Mechanical Keyboard. Um, it's the in-between model of the Cooler Master's gaming keyboard range, which is, has become a big seller for us, and they're extremely well valued and very good performance. This is the this is the middle of the range. There's the rapid, which is below this, and then there's the trigger, which is slightly above this. Um, I'm having a look at this to give you guys a good look into it and what makes this a very cool well-purchased keyboard. If we can come a bit closer, we can have a look at what makes it really cool. It has a nice rubberized feel on all the keys. It looks feels very solid when you pick it up. It's heavy as all mechanical keyboards are, but it's not as heavy as, say, the Black Widow. So it has a quite nice look to it, and it's not too heavy. If we can go in closer here, it has the different lighting modes, which I'll get into a bit later. It has all the multimedia sounds, um, controls. And then um, it has inky rollover, which I'll get into a bit later, and you can change the polling rate over here, which is very, very cool. Which I sort of, sort of think is redundant, because um, most USB can, 2 can hit full polling rate regardless, but maybe it's quite a cool option if you like to slow it down a little bit. Um, if we can have a look closely at the keyboard layout, it's a standard US keyboard layout. It has, instead of the Windows key, it has a CM Storm logo. Quick fire, pro, quick fire sorry, as the on the space and has a standard enter and a long backspace. I prefer this enter to be slightly bigger, but for the standard US layout, this is how it would look. Um, let's have a look at what makes this keyboard cool. If we look into the back of the box, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, like I said, it's a mechanical keyboard. It has the Cherry MX keys, um, which I'll tell you the difference between all the different keys just now. USB 2, NK rollover, like I discussed just now, multimedia shortcuts, which were over at the top there, and um, 1000 hertz polling rate, which is very, very cool. Windows keys disabled in game, so when you're in a game, it will disable Windows key completely. Uh, partial red LED backlit, like I said, it's not like the trigger which has full backlit, it's partial, but I'll show you the different modes just now. Um, it has removable USB cable that's braided, which is also very cool. Um, let me just find it for you, here it is over here. Um, what's cool about this USB cable is that if it gets damaged, you can easily replace it because it's a standard mini USB and standard USB over here. It's easily replaceable, these are gold plated for extra conductivity, so the performance is very good for 1000 polling rates. Okay, let's have a look at what makes this keyboard cool in comparison to say the Black Widow. So I have the Black Widow over here. Let's have a nice side-by-side -side comparison between them. I must say I'm a big fan of the Black Widow as well. I love mechanical keyboards. I think there's no other way to do it. And um, But the big thing that always put me off the, the Black Widow was the keys were were quite a bit loud. I mean, with, with, I chose the, the MX Red keys because the MX Red keys are not as loud as the, as, as the blue and they're slightly more of a friction towards them when pressing the keys but for me that's perfect. If I can do a comparison, yeah, I'm going to press this key here and you press this key, you can hear the Black Widow is quite a bit louder which I, 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 I really can't stand that. And if you want it even less loud than this, you can get the brown keys. Um, there's also the brown model for this, which is very cool. With, with thin of the black one, it comes in one model, which is the ultimate and the standard, and they all have the MX blue keys, which is like I said, it's loud and it's which is nice for if you're the kind of gamer that likes to feel every single key that you press and you want to know which key you're pressing, then you can feel it very, you can hear it very easily. With this, it's not as it's not as in your face sound. It's still loud, but it's more of a, a consistent sound. Where this is just loud, in my opinion. Um, okay, let's have a look at what makes this keyboard awesome in terms of its lighting. Let me just quickly just plug it in. I've just finished plugging it in for you guys, and let's have a look at how the cable plugs in. So I'm turning the keyboard over for you. Um, it plugs in in the back here, just so you guys know, it is quite hard to plug in. We even had a customer once return the keyboard tell you that it didn't work. But the thing is, you just have to make sure you plug it in solidly. It has like two clips on to it, and then you must, it's very solid when it plugs in. It's kind of hard to plug in. So you just must make sure you're playing properly when you do get this keyboard. Let's have a look at the lighting for you. Come, if you come a bit closer. Um, that's the standard mode, which is WASD. It's great for FPS games, and it also highlights these arrow keys. So if you prefer playing like that, or like that, they're both over there. Um, let's try and get the mode going for you guys. And then there's the MMO mode. As you can see, it lights up all those keys. So there's all your spells at the top there, and any other macros that you've put on these keys is all relevant at the top there. And it'll have yes and we can go to the next mode which is the pulsing mode. If you can go in a bit closer you can see it pulses in and out. As you can see. I'm not really a fan of that so much because I just like my keys to be bright or not. So but it is cool for the guy that likes that. And then there's the diff the the down with the the lighting and there's the up with the lighting. And there's lighting on or off.
which is very, very cool. There's the Windows lock, and then there's the function key lock. So I have function key on, which means I can change this at any time, just hold down the function key and do all my things at the top there. I do sort of wish that they had maybe had an extra row there just for the volume keys and all because I use it all the time. It's sort of like a pain for me to have to press this down and then do the volume things. But it's exactly the same lay layout as the Razor Black Widow. So I can't really fault it there. It also has the in key rollover over here, which is just below the delete key. So you have to function down and it enables in key rollover, which means if you're playing an MMO game and you have, a, say, a spell or a macro that has a lot of keys in, that has be together for it to work, um, then this keyboard can register each and individual key more than three. Most keyboards can only do three. This can do up to like six or seven or even more thanks to N key rollover, which is a very cool function for professional gamers. So that's what makes it very, very cool. If we had to compare it to Black Widow, uh, it doesn't have the polling rate like the Cooler Master Storm does. Um, it's exactly similar layout. It has the volume controls at the top and then it has the lighting and that's it. So it's, it's not as, uh, like I said, this is a standard version, but the reason I compared the two because they're both in the same price range. So if I was you, I'd rather get this one. You to get some backlit keys and it has a nicer feel to it. It's less loud. It's slightly more frictiony, but I enjoy that. Um, and also the black one is extremely heavy and I'm not a fan of its look. Um, I just think it looks... It's looking, the signs look a bit dated in my opinion. If I look at this, it looks way more edgy. It looks, it looks very gamey. I think it looks great. Um, so if I was you, and if you're in the market for a keyboard, if I can just go into the Iconic site quickly, um, the Razer Black Lover currently markets for 915 Rand, and all the different MX keyboards, the Cooler Master Quickfire Pros, go from 830 to 858. So it's just slightly cheaper and I think the value is actually better. Like I said, it comes in different models. This is the red keys, which are, like I said, it's slightly less, in the, uh, slightly less um, frictiony than the black. Um, there's the different keys, there's the brown, but the brown is like for the typing. If you don't like a loud keyboard, oh, there's the brown model as well. Then there's the blue, which is exactly the same as this, which is slightly louder. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching the Conic TV. Please be sure to check us out.